So, you don't know the general rules of coloring skin. Not a problem. First, understand that a lot of this depends on the style that you're going for. If you are going for straight photorealism, you're probably better off using some photo scanned skin texture maps and using something like Mari to project them to your character. But if you're doing a slightly more stylized genre with hand painting in mind, you can get some very pretty looking results with some very basic coloring techniques. Shout out to JD Styles, which is where I learned how to do this stuff. But basically, you just have to airbrush the colors onto your face. If you're using Blender, you can do this by dragging a window for the image editor, make a new image, image, name it, pick your size, OK, then drag a new window, shader editor, press shift A, S, image texture, connect them like so, and make sure that it's set to the same name as the image you created up here. And now up here, if we go to the paint mode and on the left, change it to texture mode, you will now be able to use your brush and paint tools to color your model. Start with whatever skin colored base you want, then set the brush type to airbrush. Probably put it on low strength, and now you can start coloring away. So for those of you who are in Blender, just follow along from here. Now, if you're using ZBrush on the left, change the material to skin shade four, which usually looks pretty good once you've finished painting. But for the sake of this video, I'll do everything over just for you. Turn M on and pick the base color for your skin. And then under color, fill object to flood the color to your base. And make sure that RGB is set to true and Z add is set to off. Now from here, you can just use the standard brush with a low focal shift and intensity and pick a reddish color that we'll use to start pronouncing the blood vessels that normally clump around the face. Usually these areas are the front of the nose, the cheeks, the inside of the eyes, and the lips. And it's up to you to decide on how much makeup or lipstick she's wearing. Personally, I try not to go too hard on the lips because once it starts to look like lipstick, things start to look really weird really fast. Regardless, once you've got the red areas down, now we have to add the yellowish green tint that happens in between the red areas. And finally, for the areas that are farthest away from the blood vessels, we add a slightly bluish fade. So these areas are usually like the sides and bottom of the chin, under and over the eyelids, and the sides of the cranium. Finally, use a slightly deeper red to touch out the more fleshy parts like the inside of the mouth and the inside of the eye cavity. Afterwards, from this point on, it is completely up to your discretion as to how to do the makeup. I don't normally put too much, but I do add a very slight eyeliner to highlight the eyes. Now, once you have done the head, you just repeat this exact same process for the body. Use a red airbrush and start dabbing wherever the major blood vessels clutter up on the skin. Usually this happens when skin meets other skin at 45 or 90 degree angles. So above and below the boobs, elbows, around the glutes, knees, ankles, toes, around the groin, her spine, shoulder blades, and don't forget about the shoulder, collarbone, and neck areas as well. And knuckles for each finger, wrists, and the insides of the hand. Then decide what color her nips are. And now we move to the greenish yellow color and start dabbing the areas in between the red ones. It doesn't need to be perfect, just a slight touch is more than fine. And finally, we use the blue tint to start coloring the outskirts. So these are areas that are far away from red, but usually on the edge of the yellowish green zones. So this is usually like in between the joints. And once you've completed the painting, be sure to check M and under color fill so that it shades the base of skin shade four. And then right under the UV, set the size and map however you want. And down under texture map, click create from poly paint and it will plaster your work to your UVs. Then clone it, and at the top under textures, flip vertical and export the image as a diffuse map. If you are in Blender, make sure you go to the image and save as, not save the file, save as image. Otherwise, you will lose all of your work. So remember that. Anyway, once you've done that, you're done. I hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.